pumili po na lumaban sa Kongreso itong Mayo 2013 sa ilalim na nag-iisang partidong politika ng mga LGBT ang Laddad Party List. Ang panaghoy po namin, pagtanggap sa lipunan, hindi po tolerance, hindi po sa nilalagay lamang sa mga beauty parlor o sa mga pating palak na ganito. reminding me that if we if I get elected in Congress that I don't change <laughs> Anong problema niyo dito? Nadidiscrimin na ba kayo? Inaapi ba ang mga bakla dito sa siniluan? Kasi po nung last pong tambay namin dyan hindi ka na lang pong malumapat na lang eh bigla po akong sinampal di ko na masyari Sinampal ka? Sa mukha? Tapos anong sinabi mo? Wala, pero meron. Alam mo, minsan sabi na, ay bakla, gano'n, gano'n, gano'n. Hindi, hindi nagawa ko naman. Ang pinakamayarap na sempre talaga hindi naman naiiwasan na sigawan ka eh, diba? O huwag yung hayaan, no, na i-discriminate tayo. Huwag yung hayaan na parang gawin tayong kahiyahiya. Pag nasa kongreso tayo, baka gawa tayo ng mabatas na magprotekta sa atin, maparusahan yung mga naaapi sa atin, Sinong po ang Ladlad Party List? Kandidato po ako po yung kumakandidato. Uh, baglang abogado po. Ah, abogado ka? Abogado po ako, pero bakla, pero proud po. Ang, ang ginawa ng Diyos babae, lalaki, bakit ka naging bakla? Mahi ka ng tawad sa Diyos, tapos sabi mo, Diyos ko, patawarin mo ako, gawin mo ako maging lalaking matso. Alam mo, dinasal ko yan sa Panginoon. 30 years kong dinasal yan. Alam Ay, mo, hindi pa dininig. <laughs> hindi pa sinagot ni Lord yung kahilingan mo. I thought I was going to be a priest. I really did. I am a 47-year-old homosexual man. Bakla ako. Now, I can admit it. Before, I could not. Not even to myself. Filipino gays have long been known by the word bakla. It's, 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 it's here, it's here. There's the B and the A, and then there's a cross in the middle. When I was growing up, bakla was the most fearsome word um, in my life. It's not the equivalent of gay. It would be more like faggot. We don't have a word for transgender, actually. So we use the word bakla for gays and transgenders. The anomaly of being a Catholic country and having the baklas openly walk around is curious for a lot of Westerners. I get asked the question, you know, I mean, why do you need that blood? Kasi meron din ako naging kaibigan na bakla na hindi mo mapagkakatiwalaan. Kasi anong magagawa nila, di ba? Ang alam lang nila, umibig sa lalaki. The baklas are tolerated as long as you fit certain stereotypes. If you're a bakla in the entertainment industry, in the beauty parlor, or if you beauty contests, but if you cross these boundaries, that's when stigma and discrimination happens. Homosexual acts are not criminalized in the Philippines. 
However, gay men, they're subjected to extortion. Lesbian couples are separated forcibly by parents, accused of kidnapping of their partners. And it's the transgenders who are shown out of public restrooms, accused of being prostitutes. If we are accepted, then there should be laws in place protecting us. Tolerance doesn't equate to acceptance or to equality of rights. So I have a lot of, uh, how do you call that? I could say failures. <laughs> I were never I was a, I wasn't able to fulfill them like joining beauty pageants <laughs> so I never considered myself beautiful so this was in college 2000 I haven't undergone yet the hormonal replacement therapy and I never had some implants yet at this time with them gay lang ang alam ko na no hindi ko alam yung transgender I have two brothers that are gay, but one was able to fight his feelings. <laughs> but the other one, the youngest, no more. He's gay. I don't like her to be a politician. Because nakikita ko mahirap. It's hard. Before the campaign gets into full gear, we have a prepared kit, no? What to say when these are the questions being asked, this is the history. In short, a series of several core messages. Go and give talks to Parlerista and all the other <coughs> LGBT establishments in making them brand evangelists for that lad. For example, kung nasa parlor ka, parang nakaupo ka for one hour, parang the or uh, the yung manggugupit can actually talk about the lad. Siyempre, it's not a hard sell dapat. Parang papasok na lang niya uh, in one way or another. The hairdresser will tell the customer, either you vote for lad lad or I will destroy your hair. <laughs> If we can show the lead, um, not just in the Philippines, but in the world, that we are open in embracing LGBT people as, as uh, equal members of our society, then we have done a really big thing. And it's the same thing that's driving the campaign of Lad Lad Party List right now. Lad Lad Party List is the only LGBT political party in the world. In the world. The Party List system in the Philippines is a rather new thing, you know. It was implemented to guarantee seats in Congress for minority groups. 80% of House seats are elected the usual way, by district. 20% are elected nationally and reserved for party lists. Small parties representing marginalized groups like farmers, women, and workers. Each voter can choose only one party list, and each party list can win up to three seats depending on the number of votes they get. We figured that if every LGBT voted for us, we could have a real shot at this. In 2003, I invited 10 of my friends. They came wearing costumes and they said, yay, there's a party. What are you doing? I said, we're forming a political party. They thought it was a costume party. Some of them came in drag, right? So I was like, oh my god, I think I'm doomed now. <laughs> In the last elections in 2010, the COMELEC, the Commission election, said, Mr. Imoto, you are leading a group that is immoral, abnormal, and you are against the tenets of the Catholic Church. So I filed the case at the Supreme Court, and we won three weeks before the elections. We had only three weeks to campaign. My dad was very new then. That was the first time we were going to run. And then everyone was excited. Human 
So we were new and good, <laughs> honest politicians. Maganda, pati yung pagtanggap ng mga tao, wala pa namang tumawag sa aming immoral at banta sa kabataan. Komelek lang. Komelek lang. We had three weeks for campaigning. Uh, we still had a good showing. We almost got one seat at that time. BEMS almost got to sit in Congress. We lost in 2010. If we lose again in 2013, the election losses, you can only run twice. If we lose this time, and lad lad, we'll need to start over. Po, lad lad po, for party list. Wow. Yes, I love it. Thank you, Juan. Thank Short you notice. Coming. Thank you for coming. I have to talk. Girls! If you want to sign up for the membership, yeah, I'm yeah. glad. Para wala lang tatas yung pagtulong nyo sa amin. Can I have a walk? Uh, in Lad Lad, you cannot see one of the platforms, the gender recognition law is not there. No, Being the first nominee, I already start lobbying for the gender recognition law. And let's see how will they react. We just need to be all unified. Yes. That's the most yes. important thing, especially transgender. Yes. Exactly. This is the only way eh, we have to enter Congress and tackle our issues there. And I want to be my co-warriors will be my fellow trans women. Yeah. So she will be discussing to us. Uh, I used to be a sex worker. I was engaged in sex working and I was earning a lot. But I realized I was not happy. And I began to look to do something more meaningful with my life. And what I'm doing in that lab right now as a campaign coordinator is what I really want to do. I am Lad Lad. I belong to Lad Lad. I love Lad Lad because Lad Lad fight for the rights, fight for the freedom of LGBT. Okay. 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 chapter natin dito sa area. Okay, no problem. Okay lang sa iyo. Oh, Alam mo naman ang support na natin. Ay, wala ganyan. Ang ganda ng kilay mo talaga. Hindi nga kasi kumigaw. Gusto ko lang pumunta dito araw-araw. Sige, kung gusto mo ako na official ano mo, pag nasa kongreso ka na. <laughs> I have this injection. I have this um, bus enlargement. So I think I am a transgender. But when I'm doing the uh, responsibility as Kagawad, I may be a gay, a tough guy, a tough gay. So that's it. Depends on the mood, depends on what people is all uh, dealing with. That's it. I live at Tenement. It's an urban poor project of the government. My neighbors, they like me because I'm so jolly. This is one of the uh, Lad Lad supporters and uh, a transgender. We have lots of LGBT poor here. Do the honor. If the Lad Lad wins, they will do something for the benefit of us or LGBT. Lala is here to enter the political system because only LGBTs can push for LGBT rights in Congress as their sole and only focus. A lot of what we're fighting for here has echoes in, in what's happening in other parts of the world. Let's do our part and get those three seats and make history. Aside from senatorial candidates, party list groups have likewise kicked off their campaigns. Ang Lad Lad, the party list group represents lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgenders. Bell stepped up. She really wanted it. 
She was ready to make the sacrifices that were required of the position. We want to unify all LGBT Filipinos and groups, push for LGBT-friendly policies and laws. BEMS ang iyong kasunduan sa ating pinakamamahal na bayang Pilipinas. Ako si Binibining BEMS Benedito, isang babaeng transgender. Mahal ko ang Pilipinas dahil ito ang aking lupang sinilangan at kinamulatan. Kaya nangangako ako na ipaglalaban ang pantay na karapatan at dignidad ng mga Pilipinong LGBT. You don't trust me. Nambesa ko talaga paganda. Ano pa yung ano lang ha? Like la, like as in ano lang? Mama Mary lang. Okay. Natutulog si Mama Mary. Nambramo. It's intentional. Baka conservative ka na ma? Samaan mo ako, tabihan mo ako, kasi yun talaga ang ano mo. Ay, importante yun. Oo, kasi ikaw ang agawa. Hindi man ako makaayos, my love. Welcome. The most marginalized now are the transgenders. The fact that we have a transgender as our major nominee is already a young breakthrough for transgender rights. So, why are you concentrating on parlors? Siyempre, I mean, constituents. We're transforming our parlors as our headquarters nationwide. Nadyan nakasulat yung mga platform. Kailangan maipasa namin na yung anti-discrimination deal. Kasi may mga natatanggal pa rin sa trabaho dahil bakla sila o lesbiana, tinatanggal sila sa trabaho. Number one platform ng Ladlad, yung microfinance. Kung gusto nyo mag-set up ng business, pauutangin kayo na walang interes. Tatayo kami ng mga, yung parang home for the golden gays, yung mga matatandang uh, mga bakla na na-abandona na ng pamilya. I know you have no figures, no? but uh, how many are the members of the LGBT? Where is What did she say? Where is Where is Sabi niya, pag tumalong daw lahat ng member na LGBT, magkaka-earthquake daw sa Pilipinas. At may bisita rin po tayo mula sa Ang Ladlad Party List. Ang tagline nila ay bukas isip, bukas puso. Kung kinakataon mo yung mga bakla, dapat yung mga representante mo, bakla rin. Katulad ko, ako, bakla ako. Are you going to push for gay marriage? Let's focus on the more important issue which is anti-discrimination. Matagal na yan eh. So, unahin muna natin ito. Huwag tayong maligaw dyan sa ibang issue na yan. Mahalaga rin yan, pero siguro not for this time. Hi! Third force, not that. Rock and roll lang talaga tayo. Rock and roll. Ganto, girls. Lahat ng may headdress na kasali, proceed sa unahan. Yung mga hindi kasama at wala sa ulo, yun ang mamimigay ng flyers. Okay tayo? Lahat tayo pag nagparada... I really knows how to work a crowd. I can't do that as, as well as she does. It's a really, really good. Manila is composed of six districts. So I'm in the District 6. The biggest challenges here in District 6, we have this congressman, Benny Abante. He's a pastor. He works in Baptist Bible Church. Benny Abante is the number one enemy of LGBT. The Bible condemns homosexual acts, okay? But the Bible also says that God loves all people. Some of my members were homosexuals, and they have been changed. They're no longer homosexuals because no one is born a homosexual. That is a lifestyle. The church would say that they exercise compassion. They would frame it not just as a moral issue, but also as a pathological issue. 
and they actually encourage uh, gay men, lesbians to undergo conversion therapies. <laughs> Salamat talaga no yung pagtitiwala nyo na binuksan sa amin ngayon. Ay. So nandito po ako para ipaliwanag yung Ladlad Party List. Paano tayo magsasani pwersa? Ang nai-level na party is straightforward na sinabi niya. Wala akong sinabi immoral ang bakla. Kami sa Ladlad ang mag-engage sa kanya. Totoo kasi matagal na kasi siya kang ano eh. Basta siya magkipag-debate sa amin. <laughs> Yung Ladlad noong 2010, dito talaga nang galing yung pinakamaraming boto kami sa Ladlad. Kung saan talaga manggagaling ang mga boto, yun ang uunahin namin na bibigyan ng mga proyekto. Ang tawag dito, doon sa mga problema, kung gaya may gusto magpapuke, okay ba, suporta ang Ladlad? Unahin naman natin yung trabaho. Oo, diba? Hindi, Dalawang linya lang, aray. Dalawang, dalawang linya lang tayo. Yun ay hindi kailangan kasama yung ano. Dalawang linya, na, para nakikita lahat. Dalawang linya, sino kasama mo dyan? Dyan, dyan. 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 Ready tayo, girls? Let's proceed. Uy, drummers! Ready! Party list number 28 kami sa Balota. Representative sa Kongreso yung mga bakla. Hoy, ikaw, Ladlad Party List. Ako si Attorney Raymond. Bakla rin ako, ha? Hindi ba halata? Kakaiba po yung party namin kasi talagang papakatotoo po kami. So, bagong polit na laki na ito sa Ladlad. Tapos sinabi niya po yan din, no? Tumalaki na nagkakawin niya. Okay lang yan, pero proud po kayo. Magiging masipag po yan. Ay! Honor student po ako. Magsipag po daw. Sektor po ng mga bakla. Bakla rin po ako. Hindi, anak niyo po ako bakla. Ay, salamat po. Iboto niyo po yung anak niyo. Para po sa kapakanan ng anak niyo. Kaya po, sabi nga po ng anak niyo yung boto namin. Sige po. Salamat po. Salamat po. Hello po, boss. Nag-dog party list. Mga tunay na lalaki daw tutulong sa mga bakla. Huwag kayong magbabago na. Alisin niyo yan, huwag. Opo. Kung lalong ipinigay ng Diyos, gawin ninyo. Salamat. Tandaan niyo yan. Salamat. Ang Diyos ay mabuti. Well, there you have it. Sure, it's one thing to be out. It's another thing to actually be declaring your bakla, bakla as you walk, you know, around the streets of your hometown. Taasan mo. Yung, yung todong taas na. Ah. Oh, na sabungero ka. Ah. He breeds. I breed chickens, fighting cocks. Ah, ano yung diversion sa Tagalog? Yung diversion sa English. Diversion? Hindi yung diversion ko lang yung kinlang. A hobby. Uh, this is my hobby. I don't support cockfighting. I, I brought him in, in the arena when he's a child. He just he just look at the chicken and then, pa, I'm hungry. He like beauty pageant, <laughs> not cockfighting. I started taking hormones when I was in high school. The hormones are not prescribed by doctors. And that's the problem here in the Philippines. It's self-medication. I took like seven tablets or 10 tablets a day. And nobody told me that, that it's dangerous. All I want is to have my transition. I want to be beautiful. Nung malit pa siya, talagang aaminin ko sa sarili ko na hindi ko siya tanggap na as a gay or as a lesbian or whatsoever. Pero no, After after a few years, I realized that 
Eh, ganun din eh. Wala na akong magagawa kahit anong gawin ko. So, ang sabi ko lang sa kanya naman is, wag lang niyang sirain ang pangalan natin. Yung, yung i- iangat mo yung yung as a gay ka. Sa so, yung Miss Gay po, dito, dito gaganon po. Excuse me, Miss Nong. In every town, we have an annual transgender beauty pageant. This is my first time to judge a pageant. And I used to join transgender beauty pageants before. Pag Miss Gay, mas marami ang tao na nanonood. Kasi mas, ang tingin nila nakakatawa, yung parang silang clown, pinagtatawa ng mga tao. Pag nanalo naman sila, at least ang tingin ng mga tao, hindi naman sila sabi mo ng katawa-tawa. Sumasali na sa mga Miss Gay, taga manicure, o yung mababa ang tingin nila. Matagal ng debate ang gay rights, hindi lang dito, kundi maging sa buong mundo. Pero sa Mayo, mapupulsuhan na ang bansang Pilipinas kung ito na ba ang panahong tinatanggap na nito ang mga bakla at lesbian sa lipunan. Nag-aalala ang simbahan na susubukan ng angladlad na magtulak ng mga batas na tinuturing nilang imoral, gaya ng same-sex marriage. If it comes to a point where uh, it's asked whether it pushes for LGBT rights, I would like to hear Ang Ladlad say that same-sex partnerships should be embraced. May mga tanong, isusunod na rin ba yung mga kontrobersyal na batas ng same-sex marriage? Yung mga... Oh, yung same-sex marriage, yes, sabi namin na hindi pa ngayon, pinag-uusapan pa. So ngayon muna yung anti-discrimination bill. Kano kayong kalasusin natin? Yung prices, mga trophy, massage. So, 8K. O yan, 8K. Ano kayong pwede mo ma-insagress pag ano, kung pa-event tayo? Yung hindi tayo gano'n? Oo. Punting contest. Ano kaya, mad fight? Trans to trans, buy to buy. Yan. Tama na yung 10 na tarpaulins? Ilan na bilang mo? Ay, 20. Yung sa'yo? Ito, 21 to. Ha? May bibigyan ba tayo doon? Ay, hindi yung sa mga participants. Siguro ba may mga bading siguro tayo makita? Ba't ang nangingi sila ang t-shirt? Philippines, they want to touch your hand, they want to talk to you. It's a very personalistic culture. Unless they see you, they will not vote for you. So what Raymond Bems and I have done is to go around the country and touch base with our voters. It's such a big country. We're trying to cover 7,100 islands. Since we don't have the money for TV ads, you have to shake hands with a lot of people as much as you can. Ladlad Martin's boss! Sana ang pangapi. O kasa! Ang pangapi! Sa mga bakla! Tomboy! Lesbiana! At transgender! Bisexual. Kung tama ay bisexual, wala na. Lumutan ako. Lumutan ako. Mga gulis na matutulis. Dahil ba ay si Pansi? Don't be afraid. 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 Ang 
Oh, babaya ka ron. Yung transgender. Ayan, Benz. Siya ti first nominee, transgender, na para ti ang ladla. Di kampanya mo, ah. Pagkita ang ladla. Ay, well, kasi kami ko, ah, to come out for me. Nung kami ladla, di ko, ah, kasi di rumuar ka, yung tikloseta. Di ba, ah, dati... Ginger mo? Ah, kuha pala ang, ah, male, tawang pala ang muti, batas nga, kuha. Mang correct na dyan. So nga naman pang kami, di, so nga naman lumablabang kami para kongreso. Tama isa ko mali, di, di, kaya aming i-file. Di, gender recognition law ko na, di, di, Amerika. Tataaan ka ba lang ng sexuality? Ano talagang nga maawagan ka ng babae? Oo, nga nga, Rod. Kaya nga nga, dapat di, 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 basis mo. So, di, di, penis mo. So, laang ti gudwa ang da. So, to brand ang vagina. Isimpada laang patagan da. Sa lahat pa Aman! Aman! Curious ka? Kaya puro yung makurious ka. Kita mo ito di pictures di internet. How curious yun? Ang kasla ko ma... Sa Bali, di kaya mo. No, I said he's not curious anymore. I think he wants to test a transgender. Sexually. Very naughty. Okay, basta. Lad-lad. Nya. Hi, Ted. Hi, Ted. Hello, guys. Expected to that. Hi, smile. Hi. You want to like Papa's FB? Oh, I'm here. I was supposed to, ano, to message you, Kagabi. Oh, oh. Hmm. Ano na? This is my childhood friend. Tapos isusot mo siya lagi. Pagkatipo sa Pardor, ipromote mo, Teh. Ang ginawa mo dito? Ah, minsan pasyalan mo naman ako dito. Pasyalan mo ako minsan. I get catches and Christmas of plenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. People tell me that you should be prim and proper, you should sit like a lady, you should not be wearing that if you want people to take you seriously. Because you are part of Lad Lad. Let's go, let's go. And I would always say to them, uh, this is exactly what we're fighting for, you know? To be who you are. Kasi sinabi ko nga, you cannot gather games or sa sa atin during daytime. Daytime, especially sa mga dates like us. Usually, kasi we're breadwinner in our family. Yeah, I'm a maid. I work in my aunt's house. Even though I'm gay, I am proud because I am helping my brother. And hopefully, this March he's going to graduate already. Being a gay, it's discrimination is part of our life. And I think that that part is would really help a lot. And if ever that it would, it would really help, not only me, but also the whole gay community as well. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Robert and Patricia. <laughs> Yung vice mayor ang ako. Oo, pakilala mo naman ako. Pakilala mo ako. And the provincial coordinator po of LADLAD. Hello po. Yes, o nga po. Tulungan nyo naman po kami dito. Oo nga, salamat. Pinopromote niya talaga. Oo nga po. Maraming galit sa inyo ng mga magulang. Kaya kami isa yung mga kamagulang na kinakausap po sa kanila. Mas mabuti nga yan kaysa kaysa bumapatay pa ng tao yan. Gusto mo sa ganun yan. Kaya po. Dan di mga contestants, let me ask you, pinmale, anda na ba kayo? Louder, please. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your pinmale gay universe 2013 candidates in their opening number. Louder, louder, come on. Ladies 
ladies and gentlemen, in the costume category. Pero if given a chance to work sa abroad, saan at bakit? Um, Thailand. Thailand. Bakit? Because homosexual like me accepted in Thailand. Aren't you accepted here in Bimalay? Come on! That's precisely the reason why we are giving you something like this to yeah. boost your confidence. At ipakita ko ano yung skills mo, di ba? Okay, message. Coming from our friends, Mula Sadladlad, Pertilis. Ngayong gabi, binigyan kasiyahan po namin kayo sa patimpalak na ito. At aking pong patuloy na hinihingi at pagsusumamo sa inyo. Pagkatapos po ng gabi ito at mga hiyawan na ito, ibalik din po ninyo ang dignidad at respeto sa amin bilang mga tao. At sana po, samahan ninyo kami itong Mayo na rumampa sa Kongreso. May paabot sa sambayanan ang mensahe ng politika ng pagbabago. Kahit na humarap tayo sa maraming hamon. The party list provides an opportunities for underrepresented group. They're fighting against discrimination against any group and that includes the LGBT. So we welcome groups like Gladlad who would be who would be fighting no, against that kind of discrimination. Ipakikila ang unang sinta ng LGBT ang kauna-unahang kongresista para po sa LGBT, Congresswoman Bent Benedito. Salita po ng mga kongreso, hindi po kayo kinatawan ng tunay ninyong representante na si Benny Abante. In the case of Ladlad, they've traveled to ensure that they've got legitimate chapters all over the country. I don't know, I don't know how uh, strong or how uh, organized the chapters that they put together. <laughs> I've listened to Bams a few times. He presented a very clear platform. No theatrics. They need to be accepted by the mainstream, not just by the LGBT. My God, feels so good to be back home. Yeah. They used to work here. Ben, just in case, hindi. Obisan natin yung next one, ano? Ala, ayoko na. Babalik na lang ako dito. Huwag pa nang ganyan. Nabagod na ako. O oh, kasi yung unang eleksyon, yun pa yung trial-trial and error pa yun. Ito ngayon, ito na yung talagang ano na. Kung uupo kayo, fine. Pero just in case, just in case lang hindi, sige. Mag-strategia ka na ng para next. Sigurado na yun. Sigurado na yun. Kahit walang, kahit walang ano. Ay, may pag-asa talaga. Ano ka ba? We're running to win. Ako talaga, iba na naman ano mo. <laughs> Hindi ako tumatakbo para matalo. Yes, yes. Matalo. the spirit, Bebs. Yeah, oo. Oh. Oh, oh, dapat gano'n. I will claim it on May 13. <laughs> Kuya, Attorney Raymond Alikpala po, kandidato po ng Ladlad Party List. May bagong politika. Bagong politika po ang dala namin. Dami rin mga Benny Abante poster, no? Benny Abante is, um, what we call this, I forgot the English term of Tuso. O, pwede na tayong umanay na lima-lima para makaalas na tayo. Lima-lima lang. Hanay na tayo ng fight fight. Lima-lima lang. Benny Abante gets some members of LGBT and they get together. What's the name of the organization that Benya Banti put? Alliance of Third Force here in District 6. That's the English word. But if you, if you check the acronym, 
It's the A I T S. Ang dami naman ng picture. Ayaw mo na. Oh, tapos na. Okay. We have AIDS. It's the support group of LGBT for Congressman Benny Abante. Kasi ang unang makikreate sa utak mo kapag ka AIDS ay bakla to. Kaya nabuo yung AIDS. Andun lagi yung respeto eh. Kasi nga, hindi kami nakitaan ng ito nagsisigaw sa kalsada to. Ito ang haba ng buhok nito. Ito naka-make up to eh. Mararamdaman mo yung discrimination eh. Ibig sabihin ni eh, umayos ka o uh, ayusin mo yung, yung personality mo pag nasa labas ka. The AIDS understand that I'm not discriminatory. Of course, I've uh, gone against uh, the gay rights bill, so to speak. Why? Because I believe that we have enough rights to protect every individual, whether they be gays or straight or women. Now, I don't hate the gays. I don't like their lifestyle, but I don't hate them. Ang suporta namin kay Congressman Abante dahil nakita namin yung general na needs ng, ano, ng, ng mga katulad namin. Pwede niya ibigay. Kayang-kaya niya ibigay. At yun ang ipinangako niya sa amin. More of the LGBT are poor. They don't have financial assistance. They don't have the job because of the discrimination. That's it. Why? Why those homosexual accept the names AIDS? Maybe because of money. Gusto mong kita mag full time, wala naman kami pang salary for you. Oo, please. We need all help, talagang all, all hands on deck. Kasi ano na eh, mag April, May, ilang buwan na lang. Mm -mm. Today was supposed to be a congress, a voters' congress, to encourage LGBTs to come out and to help us campaign. I was thinking that it'd be about 300 people, but it's not even 10 percent. I'm very disappointed. Is it something that they'd rather stay away from and not be identified as an LGBT member? We are here actually to show our support for Angladlan party list and we will um, encourage our own families, our relatives, our friends to vote for Angladlan. Thank you so much. Some, um, I told them to vote for Landa, they just laugh or make fun of it. They think that, yeah, it wouldn't, it would, it wouldn't do any good. Masterlist. Awan kita, awan kita. Ayawan, awal, jadi mai tentai. Awan kita, nanti kita nak masterlist. Awan, apa nama? 
Hindi ako master list ako so day kasi sa tumulong it dyan, magkita, nigilig ko tayo. Just keep cool, under pressure. So nabi, miss mo di ba nang bungkos kasi pa nang balo? Di ba suwa ako? I think people underestimate a transgender person. I get those comments that I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not brilliant enough to be a representative in Congress. I cannot because I'm not even a lawyer. For the win, right? If Lad Lad will not win, I will not even have a face anymore to my community. I will be, that will be a biggest disappointment in my life that happened. Community is there, but we're not quite united. Ang hirap eh. I mean, you feel that. Yeah, in the community, there are factions. Yeah. Sana they could see it in their interest na magkaisa kami and and to vote for at least you know get at least one seat. Kaya three seats, pero let's take it one step at a time. Yeah. Ayan si Chompy Chompy na stretch. Two minutes. Alis na yan. It's finished in two minutes. We've reached halfway point of the campaign. In the beginning, I was also gung ho and excited. I was sure that yeah, yeah, we're going to win and we're going to win. But it's it's just difficult. People might not actually go out and vote. Right now, the three nominees. I mean, no doubt, all of us are working hard, doing the best that we can. But we should be doing more. So that's our strategy, to have alliances with local government heads, mayors, governors, congressmen, and to set up new ones. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So is anybody asking you any questions about? Yeah. For what is this? That's so you have to say, question. yeah, to have a voice for the LGBT. Hello, po, Mom, Joey, we're mm -hmm. here. Yeah, mm -hmm. Love you. Yeah. How are How are you campaigning for lad lads? What okay, you? how am I campaigning for the lad lads? Okay, despite lack of fans, I go with other politicians and they spend for us. <laughs> and you also spend on your own, right? Yeah, we do. The yeah. photocopying is pen spirit and the tarpaulin. So that's a deal. And the deal is, is that you're supporting him and he's supporting you. Uh, yeah. And as a result, you're getting free posters because yeah, you don't have yes. And you, you feel like you can work best by being, um, by being allied to as broad a... Yes, a in, in the Philippines. That's how it works. Yes, in the Philippines, this is the way it works. The more allies you have, the better. The senatorial candidates who you've made pacts with, how many are there? I think we have 10 now. They believe that there's really a big LGBT community that they need to tap. 
you know, we have to play politics also. We have to talk to them. If we need to beg to them. But you're already the playing politics. Because all the senators and congresspeople are endorsing. That's right. I think that's nothing wrong. As long as I don't sell out the commitments and the advocacy of Vlad Vlad, I think I'm safe. The other LGBT activists, they're seeing this too much negotiations and bargaining with local politicians. It's already traditional politics and people are afraid we're doing too much of that. Vlad Vlad is doing too much of that. <laughs> we should know how much you can compromise. Ay, naku po, hindi po. Hindi po kami trapo. Pasensya na po. Hindi po. Pasensya po. Iba, iba po kami. Baguhin niyo, ibahin niyo po kami. Hindi po kami ganyang politiko. I hate that. I really hate that people just ask for money outright. Parang you want to do new politics and people just ask you for money. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's crazy. Ito lang. Um, gusto ko sabihin sa inyo na talagang natutuwa ako sa inyo pagkasama ko kayo dito kasi buhay na buhay ang kabaklaan at katomboyan at sa pag-ikot ko ngayon ang daming humihingi tulong naman dito, tulong naman dyan pagpapagamot dito birthday nito so uh, alam ko na nasanay tayo sa politiko na nagbibigay nag-aabot ng pera Hindi po kami ganitong klasing politiko. Kayo na po ang magpaliwanag sa mga botante dito. It's very very gratifying to see faces of these young gay people. I mean most of them are young. Um, all of them are poor, you know. It's their hope that finally they have their own voice in Congress. <laughs> And, and talk me through your your strategy regarding same-sex marriage. Well, the problem is it will be very controversial. You will not get mainstream support. I don't want to alienate voters. I'm a politician. <laughs> Listen, let's win this election first. And in 2016, let us fight for a civil union bill. pastor of the Christian Church. But when I see him, we're like friends. <laughs> because there's nothing personal. I told him we don't advocate same-sex marriage because he doesn't like same-sex marriage. So kami, we're just pushing for equal rights in the workplace, that's all. When you're a political party, you compromise. When you're a social movement, you're able to push for your agenda. The biggest strength of Vlad Vlad is that it's pushing for LGBT rights. It should make its case and say that this is who we are and this is what we're fighting for. Uh, it shouldn't uh, compromise this early, even on same-sex marriage. <laughs> Unite your 
Some people might say we're selling out. I mean, you, it's easy for you to say that because you're not the one trying to organize a campaign. It's a delicate dance between, you know, trying to live up to our ideals and, you know, getting down and dirty. But, yeah. But, I mean, I, I, I don't think we've sold out. And, and I, I don't think Bems or Danton or myself have sold out. Um, at least not yet. <laughs> But is it confirmed, Maria called me early in the morning to check if I'm okay. You know why? Akala niya ako yung naandan dito. Oh, tingnan mo na yan. Sabi nila wag daw pakita sa iyo. Sabihin ko na. Transgender na pinatay. Binugbog. Dahil nag-CR sa baba. Nag-CR na siya sa toilet daw. Sa takon. Yung ginawa niyo. Tok at sadya. Ano pa? She was beaten to death. We've covered nine towns. Tama ba ito, Bems? Baka meron ka pa tayo na miss. Araw-araw may nag-away-away ang role correctory kasi nagkakagulo yung ating... Uh... Kasi yung expectations, ha? Let's also level it down. Pamigay mo na yung, yung rural areas. Um, you have to give them the areas. Basta yung mga cities, saka maraming gays, of course, ipag-asa tayo. Hindi ko na alam ano na nangyari. We really spread ourselves very thin. There are those who have left us already. You, you don't see them anymore because they don't believe in the nominees or, you know. But God knows we're doing our best. We're supposed to start the motorcade with a blessing here at 7 o'clock. And people are only starting to come right now. We are not afraid. We have a smattering of people helping us out, but not in a very organized way. But that's it. I mean, it's all us, the three of us, going around the country and campaigning. There's this nice concept of LGBT equality and then there's the long you know winding road of trying to make our dreams into a reality I don't know we'll manage Go. on elections today completed the printing of all 52 million ballots on for elections the vows to crack down on vote buying warning candidates that candidates who repeatedly violate poster regulations will be subjected to preliminary more than 44,500 candidates will vie for over 18,000 positions across the country <laughs> Ini Raymond.
Ang dalik pala. Baklang Ang abogado. <laughs> Pero proud. <laughs> Kasi ano, tinaramayin ko lang kayo, make or break, do or die, sabi nga sa basketball, di ba? Tawagin na tayo nila ako nun. Nagyanit po niya sa natlad, nagatang hapon po sa inyo, kami po'y nangangampan niya. Well, LGBT party list, mga kaibigan, number 28. Lepaskan? Alah kan? Ini kan dat partilis ke sini. Ayo tunggu bosan dia para bumoto. Kehilangan ko. Hello bumoto kau pasang amin. Does that just with praise they just voted for Anglan lah? Excuse me. Thank you, Mom. Tumulong to ba ti Joseph ito nga ag-monitor para iti Central from KBP? So look at the national total. From here to here, maybe they'll get one seat. We're here, the bottom. So we're not yet in. We're not in. Hello, sir. Danton. Ah. Bams. Nakita mo na ba? Sana, sana. Ano? Sana makawan seat or two seats. Di pa naman po masok lahat. Oo nga. O, meron pang 48% na ang in. So, hintayin pa natin. Hintayin pa natin. Si, so way down. We're not going to make it. Baba, masyado. Kaya nga, pakaano nga eh. Oo. I talked to my family. They're very supportive. Uh, they said I've done everything that I can. So maybe it's not for me. So, I think I've come to terms with it this morning. If it's not really for me, then maybe God has other plans for me. These are so damn expensive. We believe that by making political alliances with local politicians, the mainstream voter would vote for that lad. But that's obviously not what happened. And we didn't even get all LGBTs because many LGBTs were turned off by the fact that we didn't have same-sex marriage on our platform. 
we were afraid of creating controversy, so we decided no talk on same-sex marriage. It was a mistake. As the lads' leadership, we let Filipinos down. I told him that I will be your voice in Congress. I will speak for you. Rivers. It was a very emotional time. I was in limbo. I didn't know where to go. I don't know what's next for me because I never look at that picture of defeat. I was in shock. I wasn't able to talk to anyone for months. It's like breaking up with 10 guys at the same time. <laughs> Soon after the election, I was here in Laos. The stench of defeat was, was something I wanted to run as far away from as I can. <laughs> uh, and I feel sad that, that I'm so far away from home. But I'd like to believe that, that you know, I, this is my time in the desert. That, that I will be coming home soon and, 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 and bringing with me all of, all of uh, what I've gained. I want to rest for these coming elections. I'm not running. <laughs> but for the future, I don't know <laughs> what will happen. I don't want to close my doors. I need in course. There are so many young people. They appreciate what that did. And they're willing to volunteer. These are young people, 18, 20, 30. The arrow of our expectations is toward the future, to form a new party that we learn from the lessons of the past. No? So we have to elect a new group of leaders, a new group of officers, and board of trustees. No? LGBT one against the devil. Oh, that's good. One or two elections for Lad Lad doesn't define the movement, doesn't define the journey of the LGBT community. The struggle continues, the journey continues, the fight continues. 